Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about bool data type in Solidity. So Solidity, like any other programming language, also supports bool data type. In order to declare a bool variable in Solidity, we have to simply write bool, okay? So this is the bool data type, then public in order to make this value variable visible, and then this variable name, definitely I have written value here, but you can choose whatever name you want. And then we assign some value that is true because bool data type only supports either true or false and nothing else. So if you are trying to assign something else other than true or false, it will not work. Okay. By default, value is false if not initialized. Means if you are declaring a bool data type variable and you are not initializing that variable, in that case, by default value of that variable will be false. Now let us see all this on our Remix IDE. Now let us declare a bool data type variable inside our Solidity program language. So first of all, we will write this bool keyword. Okay, so this is the data type. Then public in order to make this variable public in nature. And then the variable name. Let's say the variable name is, for example, value. And then we will assign some value to it, which can be either true or which can be false. Okay, and if you are not going to initialize this variable with anything, then by default value of this value variable will be false. And you can see that. So let me deploy this. Then we call this value variable. So here you can see that by default value of this value variable is false. If you will initialize it with true, then you will deploy this. Okay, file it first, then deploy it. Now if you will check the value, it is true. Okay. Now where generally we use this bool data type? We generally use this bool data type, especially whenever we have our conditional kind of statements. So let's say, for example, we have this function by the name of check even, okay? It's checking whether the number is even or not. Then we will pass some value to it. And then let me make this function public, this pure, then returns. And then what we will do is we will simply check if a m percent two is equal to zero okay if this is equal to zero then we will return okay okay uh, i made one mistake here because we are returning a bull type value right so we need to have bull here and then if this is not true then we will return return false here okay let me compile this Deploy this contract now i will pass some value which is let's say even 12 number so now you can clearly see that when I'm passing 12 here, since 12 m percent 2, not m percent actually, a modulo 2 equal to 0, then it is returning us with true. And if a modulo 2 is not equal to 0, then this is us with false. So this is where we use bool data type in Solidity. Definitely there are various other uses as well. I'm just giving you one of the ways where you can use bool data type. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Meet you soon in the next video. Hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay?